Hey guys, so I just arrived in Dubrovnik in my Airbnb, not the city. The only reason I'm recording my gross face like this, like I'm sweating so bad, is because me getting up these hills with my backpack, my luggage, yeah that's it, and like my purse and huge water bottle, I didn't think I was going to make it. I did not think I was going to make it. Um, so I guess I can show you my Airbnb real quick. Okay, we need the light. Um, it's bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be just a room, like a small room and a bathroom, but I have like this little kitchen area, so. <sighs> Got the front door. Walk in, here's the huge bed. I don't understand why this bed is so huge. I'm just gonna sleep on like this little corner. Like, it doesn't matter how big the bedroom is. I mean, the bed is. We have the bathroom. I am so excited to have my own bathroom. Then we have this little kitchen and sitting area. This is kind of cool. So if any dishes are dirty, then I'll know they're mine and they're mine to wash. Um, I don't have to worry about other people in the bathroom. What's that? Oh, she left her phone. All right, gotta go. So my bus literally just stopped at the stop. I was standing close to it, but it was no way I could run for it. But it was like five minutes early, so missed that. Well, at least there's a good view. I wonder if I can see this from where I'm staying. I think I, I think I could. Right now I'm about to head into the old city. Um. Am I about, if this bus takes too long, I'm calling an Uber. I don't know if I said, but word on the street is that they're really, really cheap. But I was gonna catch the bus there and take an Uber back. But at this point, I don't really care either way. So we're off to a bad start because I've been waiting like 50 minutes on a bus and no bus has stopped here. Since the one that I saw that should have gotten here once I got here. So I'm about to walk a little bit and then probably call an Uber. The thing is, since I've been sitting here, my uh, service has gone, not my service, my um, phone battery has gone down like 20% and all I've been doing is like looking at an Uber, check my email a couple times, but yeah, this is so frustrating. It's like Tuesday, I don't understand. I think this bus um, was supposed to come at whatever time it is, 45. It may be like 4, 4, 4.50 right now. We're almost 4.55, but it was supposed to come at 4.45. Let me double check. Sure, I'm reading this right, yeah. 4.15, never came. 4.45, never came. Well. I had to find an empty street to walk down. That rap had lettuce, tomatoes, olives, cucumbers, and beans, red beans. Yo, 
I'm literally, I'm literally about to go buy the ingredients because if I ate that three times a day, I swear to goodness, I'd be the healthiest person on earth. What is in this? I forgot what's in this juice. It's some kind of body cleansing juice. So it has cucumber and some fruits in it. This is good, but all together it was super expensive. It was like 12 bucks, but it's worth it. It was my first time eating. It's like six something. That was my first time eating since breakfast this morning before getting on the bus, which was at nine something a.m. I still look gross as usual. Got somewhere to set you guys. So I just went to the grocery store before coming back to my room. Oh, I spent over $40, like $43 I think. Um, one thing to note is you might can use euros in some places here, but they have their own currency. Well, I guess this is gonna have to work. Um, I think it's called the Croatian Kuna, or is it Kunar? I think it's Kuna. Uh, so let me show you guys what I got. I can't believe I spent that much money. I will not be eating out, not at one time. Maybe if I see that place that I went to today again, I'll uh, get that one day. But that was a lot of money for me to go to the grocery store. And um, I'm not gonna be, it's not like I'm gonna be here indefinitely or like a month like the last place. So the first thing is my usual jug of water. I got some bread for the morning for my peanut butter toast. Got some bananas as usual. Got these peanuts to snack on. I think they're um some kind of roast. They look like what honey roasted peanuts look like in the States. So I hope these are that, but I have no clue. I got some pasta. Uh, I got this. I got a whole bunch of beans so and a can of corn. So I'm going to see if I can um, saute them up make them taste good. I got a little clove of garlic. That's not even a little clove. A clove of garlic. Whew. A huge thing of mushrooms because this is all they had. They also had dried mushrooms, but I don't feel like experimenting with that. And I love... Um, Slicing up some mushrooms and sauteing them. I don't even know if all of this can fit in the refrigerator. I got some tomatoes. I'm sure the uh, individual ones would have been cheaper, but these were packaged and they look good. I hate picking through produce. I got a head of lettuce. Um, I think when I do saute up the beans and corn and stuff, and maybe I'll throw some tomatoes in there. Um, I think I'm gonna use lettuce wraps. I actually don't have tortillas or anything. I didn't even see any. So I will definitely be using these and I can go ahead and make me a little salad sometimes. That's a lot for me to be talking about doing with this little head of lettuce, but we'll see. I got an eggplant because I don't know if I, sh I don't think I showed you guys at all. So there was this place in Montenegro right on the water. It was like an Asian walk, not Asian walk and roll, but it was like walk and roll. Um, they had noodles, two different noodles options and rice options. And then you choose, you get all the vegetables. You choose which meat you want. I didn't get any meat. And you can choose which sauce. So oyster sauce, sweet chili sauce, or teriyaki sauce. So I went there like three times. It was so good. And it's last two times I realized, cause I, they had just opened one the first time I went there. So they weren't, doing the same thing. So the last two times I went there, I realized they were putting eggplant in it and it was so good. How did nobody ever put me onto eggplant? So I'm gonna saute this up. Maybe this tomatoes, mushrooms, and I got some um, spaghetti sauce. I don't think I showed that or mentioned that. Got my Old Faithful Oreos. This is a lot. And then I got a couple, I'm assuming these are, I never know what these are. They're not fuzzy, but I think they're peaches. I never know like I go back and forth I just pick up whatever looks like that out of the grocery stores and then I'll throw them into a bag I got some I don't even need these but I got these some packets of Google's noodles 
It's because when I was in Malta, oh, damn, they had some. I bought some sunflower oil and they have some here. And they have rice, so I'm glad I didn't get that. But I'm mad. Because this thing is huge and heavy, but it wasn't that expensive. Oh, this is omega-3 oil, though. I may see if I can pack this. I'm sure I'll have I'll probably use that much in the time that I'm here, so I'm gonna see if I can pack it. I got some juice for the mornings. They didn't have the juice that I was usually getting in Montenegro. It has like carrot, orange, and lemon. That was so good. It was like vitamin A, C, E, but um, that's the same brand, so this should be delicious. Got some pasta sauce to go with the noodles and the eggplant, mushrooms, tomatoes. One can of corn. Uh, red beans, chickpeas, those are important. Uh, another can of red beans. These beans are very important. This, for when I do make my wraps, um, if I don't saute everything up with that, uh, that was kind of like a Mexican seasoning, then I'll pour this on it to give it some flavor. This is a sweet chili sauce. That probably costs a couple dollars. And another can of chickpeas. So yeah, I won't be eating out like unless I am all out of this food. Like I have no excuse. And even when I don't feel like cooking, which involves me opening up a can of beans and throwing it into a pot, um, I can just eat. I can just eat those noodles. But it's like one could be lunch and one could be dinner. So yeah. Some, I don't think I mentioned this. Some things I can note about here is it's very, it's not walkable at all. At all, at all, at all. Um, it's just the two lanes for the road. It's not really any sidewalks. If I had tried to walk to the old city, which will only take like 30 something minutes, impossible. Unless I find like some steps to go down. What's something else? Because this is, this is turning out to be kind of long. So I may just make this one video. Um, the Uber trying to get here was hell like i didn't recognize the house because i came from the back so i like ended up walking down a road and wrapping around then they was like where are you going she was like oh your house is back up so to come back up here with two huge bags the gallon of water my purse my camera it's just frustrating um old city was beautiful you got a couple of snapshots there i want to say that's it that wrap i had was so good i'm not even hungry but i am going to need to eat I'm gonna get need to eat one more time today, so I may have some of those noodles and maybe saute up some um mushrooms to throw in there. So for now, I'm gonna try to figure out a place to put all of this stuff because I have a mini fridge. So yeah, and I need to drink some water to hydrate, and then I'm gonna shower and scrub the hell out of my face. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to end this video here and instead of my first week in Dubrovnik, it'll be my first day in Dubrovnik because it has been a long one. Just waiting on that bus for an hour alone, it has been a long one. But um, yeah. Oh, I should also say, the bus to get here was hot and muggy. Luckily I sat at the front and my vent was broken so I got some air through it, but people in the back were feeling how I was feeling that time I went to Prest and I was about to pass out on the bus, not even including my cramps. Like, I thought I was gonna die on that fucking bus. People in the back were feeling like that and like arguing with the bus driver when we had to cross the borders. Um, it took a really, this sounds like I'm repeating myself. I may have told you guys this, but it took a really, really, really long time to cross the borders. And um, you have to, he would only let you get off like a couple people at the time to walk over to the, uh, the booth to get your passport stamped and some people were like please can we just get off and like line up next to the bus and like one guy tried to get off and he like shoved him the bus driver shoved him back onto the bus like no no the air doesn't work anymore or any better than it did and the little overhead emergency escape pass she was like no that has to go up um electrically and i don't know if he was trying to say it wasn't working or he just wasn't going to do it so we had a very difficult bus driver. Um, I don't think he was too empathetic about how it felt on that bus. And we were on there for like four hours, which should have been a two and a half hour drive. Turned out to be four and a half hours. Yeah, I was supposed to get here at 1230. I didn't get here till like 230. So keep that in mind if you're crossing from Montenegro to Croatia. And uh, 
yeah i mean i guess not all buses will be like that it's about to go real fast so so fast like it's not just gonna be me here traipsing around for a whole month like i'm about to hit city after city literally country after country i have i think i think i have three more countries coming up in like seven more cities so yeah like i said i'm gonna put this away shower get these three layers of sweat off of my face so stay tuned for the real adventures today was just a test trial so i'll see you guys in the next video that's a real one in your reflection without a follow without a mention you really piping up on these niggas you gotta be nice for what to these niggas i understand you got a hundred bands you got a baby bands you got some bad friends high school pics you was even bad then you ain't stressing off no lover in the past tense